Hi guys, welcome to another audio video in that I've read in 1 Thessalonians 5 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves, how perfectly, know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we shall live again, we shall live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together, and edify one another, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor on, among you, and are over you in the Lord, and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, Support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not, t despise not prophesyings. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us, greet all the brethren with an holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Alright guys, so in this chapter we see where the prophet Paul, where Paul is speaking to the fact that we need to be people of light. We need to be the light. And if you are in the light, you will have no time for slumber. You will not miss the coming of the Lord. All right, and so we need to always be prepared, and so it speaks to the fact that we need to have faith, continue to have faith, right? The best, the breastplate of faith, and we need to continue to have on the helmet of salvation. Also, these are things that are obviously going to equip us for the time ahead, so that we will not be caught unawares, and so that we will protect ourselves against everything from the enemy all the whiles from the enemy right so we should always continue to rejoice we should continue to pray these things are what are gonna keep us going these are the things that are gonna keep us ready and alert to the coming of the lord so that we will not be left behind but that we will be aware of the times and so that we will be enlightened also as it regards as it relates to the things of god all right so, guys, I'm just going to leave that right there. That was very straightforward, right? So, please remember to continue to walk in your salvation. And if you've not gained it, then seek it. There's no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.